quicker optical cable fault diagnosis is available for service providers worldwide from this week now that ProLabs has announced a unique testing solution. Anthony Clarkson is here at Broadband World Forum to tell us more. So Anthony, tell us about this product. So the idea behind this product is we're not bringing unique solution to market. It's we're taking existing solutions, an OTDR solution, layer 2, layer 3 testing, bringing them together in a unit way in a, in a cost-effective platform box so that we can do layer 1 fibre fault detection, determining where the fibre break might be, but also when you run the boxes together um, over a network, you can do uh, technical monitoring of the data passing over that network. So how does it actually work? So on the OTDR side, it's, it sends a pulse of light uh, which reflects um, at the far end. So if there's a break in the fibre, it reflects at the point of the break. So if you have a fibre break seven kilometres away from the box, it will tell you within five metres there's a break at 7,083 metres. Um, on the, the layer two, layer three side, we're sending different traffic types. So we, we support RFC 2544, Y1564 and TWAMP for different types of layer two and layer three network monitoring to give you a performance statistics like delay and jitter on your network. And what's the target market for this? So it, it kind of works anywhere where you've got a network with fiber, but um, some of the specific use cases we've seen are with the rural broadband, if you've got a community involved that might not be very technically hands-on, uh, you could leave this box in a cabinet and if there was a fault, for example, you get the knock might ring up your local farmer, say, take the fiber out of port seven, plug it into the little white box, run all the diagnostics remotely and say, ah, yeah, there's a fiber break at 18 kilometers from this point, drive to this field, have a look, see what, what's going on, dig a hole and see if you can fix it. Fantastic. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you, Brian.